Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby aka Paginator and surprise we're gonna do a little independent bookstore shopping vlog. Um, I wasn't planning on this but um, I'm here in Logan, Utah today and um, in about an hour or so I'm gonna meet some family for lunch and I thought let's take this time to explore some stores. So we're gonna hit up three independent bookstores. The first one is Becky's Bookshelf and it is across the street behind me here. So we're gonna head on in and see what it's like. So that was a cute little store. Um, I ended up only getting one book in there. They had a sale. Um, you could go to the back room and like load up an entire like plastic shopping bag full of books for three dollars. And there just wasn't anything in there that I really was like, yeah, this is worth money. But I did find one book in the YA section that looks really interesting. This is the Wild Queen by Carolyn Meyer, and it is a fictionalized. Um, tale of Mary Queen of Scots when she was sent to France to live. If you've seen, um, there's a show on Netflix called Rain, R-E-I-G-N, um, that tells a similar story and I always felt like Mary Queen of Scots is absolutely fascinating person so um, that might lead to something I might pick up later if I can find it at one of these stores. So anyway, that's what we got there and we're on to the next one. Plot twist. Um, so the second bookstore is one that I hadn't heard of before and the address listed online um, is now a bread store so I could go in there but I'm only gonna find carbs. So it'll just be two stores that we're visiting. This last one is one I've been to many times. It's a bigger independent bookstore. It's called The Book Table and we'll go in and take a look. again. I didn't have time after I left the last bookstore to vlog before my lunch date so now I'm back at home and ready to tell you what I got. I just got um, three books at that store just like I don't need any more books but I picked up three books and I really want to start a book buying van. I would allow myself whatever books come in subscription boxes um, and my Contrary Mary by the Lady Janies because that was the book I was thinking of, like looking for, 
at this last store, but then I remembered it's not out until later in the month of June. So didn't get that one, but I found three that looked fun. This one, Last Chance Books, just like, could you get any cuter? Like, so this book follows Madeline, who loves books, and she works at the family bookstore, Books and More. Um, her family has owned this store for generations, and it says um, she, this is where she feels most herself. Nothing is going to stop her from coming back after college to take over the store from her beloved aunt. It's her destiny. Well, it was. That is until a prologue, a prologue, this is in caps in the dust jacket, opens across the street from B&M. A chain bookstore on their block? Madeline will not take that lying down even if her dysfunctional family is insisting on ignoring the imminent threat. Madeline attempts to set her destroy prologue plans in motion, but Jasper, the guy who works there, seems intent on ruining her life. Not only is he taking her customers, he has the unbelievable audacity to be extremely cute um you've got male vibes anyone nothing in here about like corresponding with each other and not knowing it's them but still like rival bookstores yeah this promises to be a very fun cute romantic story next up we have tokyo ever after by miko jean um this, you can see, has the Reese Witherspoon YA Book Club sticker on it. Um, I'm glad it's a sticker and I can peel it off. My copy of um, Firekeeper's Daughter by Evangeline Booley, like the Reese's Club thing is printed right on there and it's annoying. I want it off of there. Anyway, I'll worry about picking this off later. But um, this is a princess story. Izumi Tanaka has never really fit in. It's not easy being a Japanese American in her small, mostly white Northern California town. Raised by a single mother, Izumi, or Izzy, because it's easier this way, has always felt it's been her and her mom against the world. But then Izumi discovers a clue to her previously unknown father's identity, and he's none other than the crown prince of Japan, which means outspoken irreverent Izzy is literally a princess. I'm getting the Princess Diaries vibes from this. In a whirl, Izumi travels to Japan to meet the father she never knew and discover the country she always dreamed of. But being a princess isn't all ball gowns and tiaras. There are conniving cousins, a hungry press, a scowling but handsome bodyguard who just might be her soulmate. And thousands of years of tradition and customs to learn practically overnight. Izumi soon finds herself caught between worlds and between versions of herself. Back home, she was never American enough, and in Japan, she must prove she's Japanese enough. Will Izumi crumble under the weight of the crown, or will she live out her fairy tale happily ever after? That sounds really fun. And lastly, you probably heard of this one, Ace of Spades by Farida. I don't know how to say your last name. Abike Iemide? I probably slaughtered that. I'm so sorry. All right. When two Nivea's private academy students, Devin Richards and Chiamaka Adebayo, are selected to be part of the elite school's senior prefects, it looks like their year is off to an amazing start. After all, not only does it look great on college applications, but it officially puts them in the running for valedictorian too. Shortly after the announcement is made, though, someone who goes by ACES begins sending anonymous text messages to reveal secrets about the two of them that turn their lives upside down and threaten every aspect of their carefully planned futures. As ACES shows no sign of stopping, what seemed like a sick prank quickly turns into a dangerous game with all the cards stacked against them. Can Devin and Chiamaka stop ACES before things become incredibly deadly? So this one, kind of dark academia, kind of mystery, kind of sounds like a good story that I want to read. So there we go. Um, I wasn't able to hit up three bookstores like I thought, but we did hit two and found some fun titles to read. And now I am going to try to not buy any more books other than what comes in subscription boxes and my contrary Mary for the rest of the summer. I can do this. I totally can. <laughs> All right, it's time to wrap up. Um, lastly, I'm going to apologize for my crazy hair. The wind is going nuts today. Um, and uh, I will wish you all a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.